Hey guys, my main 5x servers are wiping once this video is published. Make sure you hop on early if you want to get a head start on these huge clans. And I'll see you guys in the raids. All right, boys. So I found one of the weirdest things ever. My dude is trying so hard to make his base secure, but he didn't wire his auto turrets up or put any weapons in him. And check how small this base actually is. Why is Heli always got to be out when I'm raiding? Please hold me coming in over here. All right. I think that's despawning. We should be okay. But yeah, anyways, there's at least like 12 auto turrets placed on the outside of this base. He has it all lined up to place a wall here as well. I don't know if he's planning on walling up that rock or something, but the base is super tiny if we take a look at it here. Looks like it is some sort of rock bunker base. Could we see in there? Yo, there's a coffin straight up right there. Bruh, didn't do a great job of walling that thing off. And then here on the other side, missing garage door. But yeah, armored door pathway into the actual base. And then we've got an armored wall, stone foundation. I'm thinking this could be a decent spot to go in. I don't think we're going to be able to break that sheet metal with the C4. Possibly could break it if we take a few foundations after that stone. Yeah, I think all the foundations are stone on this thing. And that is a, I believe that's a garage door sticking out there. Let's go ahead and try for rockets. Try to make this thing as least stable as we can and see if we can get these sheet metal walls to collapse. Door path honestly might be the better idea, but I want to try to take advantage of this and see what happens. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we did. That second stone foundation didn't get destroyed. That's not good. It's actually something there. Imagine that's TC. Go ahead and we can't squeeze in there. We'll finish this with rockets. Got even more crates. This thing isn't wanting to come down. We'll send rockets here and then we'll end up having to C4 that actually. Okay, that's our first sleeper. It's the HP on this, two C4 away, I think. We got a small box there. Let's go ahead and C4 this. What do you know? More auto turrets in the base actually turned off. Okay, just gear sets there. Sleeper pretty much naked. There's the TC, but it is locked. We're going to actually have to take this stone foundation if we want to get to it, I guess. Um, I think this is actually some sort of bunker entrance. Let's try to take that TC just so we can make this thing safe. Somehow we didn't damage this yet. Okay, there we go. Let's just check what's in that TC. Not much for GP there. A tad bit, 22 laptops though. Let's see if we can get this walled off. We'll seal off his gear sets to be honest. Okay, and that comes from the front door. Looks like we took a pretty efficient path, especially because this was a bunker it seems like. And let's start checking these boxes. Not actually many boxes in here to check. Some pictures in there, all right. Let's go, Tw there's actually 27 rockets and 16 C4 in here. Was not expecting that much from the space. Dude, it looks like a freaking new builder. Jackhammers, okay. So he basically just had the explosives and explosive up top. Got one more coffin here. All right, where are the comps at though? That's what I'm wondering. I guess we could take this garage door, see if there's anything else behind it. We need to really place a TC down. Okay, let's go for this garage door and see what's behind it. We could actually jackhammer that out. Did have jackhammers in here. Okay, we do have a few crates in here. There's the comps, dude's 450 tag trash, bruh. My dude's holding out on us. I mean, he looked like a solo player, didn't even have a clan name. 
How do you even accumulate that much stuff and make your base this easy to raid, bro? Chinese lanterns. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be everything there. Super easy raid. Pretty much a jackpot. We did use a good amount of stuff on this with the rockets and C4, but we'll definitely take that profit. All right, boys. Well, I was going around looking for another base to raid, but check this out. See that dot in the sky? I think that's a sleeper. Can we confirm if this guy's hacking or something? Usually when you go to sleep, you fall, unless maybe he got banned mid helicoptering on the mini. I have no idea how that happens, but we're gonna go on a boat below him, kill him and see what he's got on him. All right, here we go. Yeah, it is a sleeper. There he is. He's got C4 and Explo. What is this guy doing? We need to check out Haptic Psycho, man. What are you doing sleeping in the freaking air with C4 on you, bro? All right, boys, I think it's about time we go for something massive. Hacking sleepers in the sky, raiding jackpots. We are all set to raid this thing. Have tons of C4 and rockets. Just need to set up a raid base and we'll go for this all armored base. All right, so we did see auto turrets on this base. I'm going to be bringing HV rockets for that purpose. They're actually guarding kind of the top of that China wall. Not even going to be an option. We might have to blow through armored. Wow, we can hardly even get up close to this thing. Those turrets are going to see us. Is there an actual door on this thing? It's what I'm wondering. Okay, yeah, there is armored double door. I think that's what we'll have to do. I mean, with the turrets guarding that top of that wall, we're gonna have to go for the door. Okay, another armored door. How deep does this thing go? Oof. Okay, auto turret watching that. Should have known. Let's get the HV rockets ready. Luckily, this external TC gives us a pretty nice angle. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's see if there's one in the exact opposite spot from that one. Um, okay, yeah. Two down, let's see if there's any more. Oh, this is dangerous, boys. I think we'll definitely be seen by those on top. Can we make a run to it there? We could blow that window, get inside, possibly. Oh no, we've got one on the left too, and the right. Oh, okay. We'll definitely have to take these down. Okay, that turret on the top is being super annoying. We only have two HVs left. We're gonna have to take that glass out and make a run for it. If there's one on the left, we might get deleted. I'm gonna try to bait that turret on the top to shoot and then we'll go straight for the run. We got a counter. That was super lucky that I looked over at that point. All right, I say let's go for the run, boys. Screw it. He'll have to do it too. Let's go. Kind of stuck here though, I didn't see this door. Oh, we are so screwed right now. 
I did not see this door here. We're gonna have to make something happen here. I think we may have screwed up. Yep. We screwed up big time. Oh man, he's rocketing. Good news is, I don't think he can get out either. What is he rocketing? I think he's taking the turret down now. Oh my god. That really sucks. Yeah, boys. It's over. Well, we we had our luck with that wipe, but that's just a terrible way to end it. I'm gonna go ahead and call it there so we don't blow through all of our explosives in one day. My dude got super, super freaking lucky that there was an armor door there. I didn't see that. Oh my god. And he's finishing the raid. Good for you, man. Good luck on the raid. You can have it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just super frustrating.